Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is going to be an unboxing video and the question is, will this item end up under my tree? And will it not only end up under my tree, but will my name be on it? Let's look and see. So I broke down, I was not going to get a bag for me for Christmas because Lord knows Erin buys bags for herself all the freaking time. But this one went an extra 15% off and it went on sale for 30% off on the same day. If you all were not aware, Coach had a sale a few days ago, it was like December 15th through the 18th, where they offered an extra 15% off their sale prices. And not only that, but they marked a whole slew of new items on sale on December 15th. I think I'm getting that date correct. If I'm not, don't hold me to the fire or anything. But anyhow, it is over now. But that does not mean that you aren't going to be able to get just as fabulous of a deal as I did on this bag. If you want to get it right now, you could sign up for emails from Coach and get 10% off the sale price right now. Or if you create an account and your birthday's in December, you could get 10% off right now. There's a couple different ways you can save money right now on top of the 30% off if you want. But if you're willing to wait till after Christmas, I would venture to say that these are probably going to go even cheaper. It's always a risk to wait but I don't think the risk is very high in this situation. So this item came from a store that I have visited before. It is the Coach store in the Battlefield Mall in Springfield, Missouri. And I ordered it online, but lately they've been shipping them from the stores as opposed to from the warehouse. And I'm not sure if they're doing that because of inventory issues or if they're trying to get items out faster for Christmas because this literally shipped yesterday from the Battlefield Mall and it arrived to me today. So I had Shop Runner, which is a shipping service that is free for a lot of people. I think you can get it for free if you have PayPal. And so I can get free two-day shipping from Bloomingdale's, from Coach, as well as many other places. So I put two-day shipping on this, and I think I ordered it on the 18th. And today's, what, the 20th? So two days ago. And the 18th, I think, was on Sunday. So really just one business day, which is insanity. So you could tell through the bag that this is... Sherilyn, I think. When I was down in Dallas, they had just released these bags, and I will put the Dallas shopping vlog in the description box, so if you want to go check out what I saw when I was in Dallas, you can do that, but they had just released these Sherilyn pillow Madisons at the time. I think that the pillow tabbies came out before these did, and when I was in the store, she hadn't even put the floor set out yet. She just said... And when I say she, I'm talking about the manager. The manager just said, do you want to see the Sherilyn bags? And I said, well, yes, I do. And Julie said that too, because Julie was with me. So she went and grabbed a few from the back. She had this one in the regular size. And then she had, I think, the black one in the mini size. And there's another color in this size. It's called Bison Brown. But I was really drawn to this one more than the Bison Brown for some reason, to me, the bison brown sort of looks like it could hang on my wall like taxidermy, and I have a lot of that around this place. So my husband hasn't killed anything yet that's this color. At least I don't think so. So I think I'm safe. I don't think he's going sheep hunting anytime soon. Don't hold me to that. He may. I don't know. But this is something that looks a little different than what's on my wall. Okay, so the color of the leather, which is on the sea... And on the puffy tag, I believe it's called natural. It says on the hang tag, B4 slash natural. I don't think natural is referring to the color of the fur or the sheepskin or the shareling. The shareling, that's what I mean. Let me look over the seat closure, make sure it doesn't have any damage to it. It looks pretty darn good to me. So does the hang tag. This is coming partially wrapped. 
let me go ahead and unwrap it so I can inspect it. There's a little bit of wrinkling on the leather on the inside of the flap, but it's nothing I cannot live with is what I meant. The inside of the flap looks great. No major anything. I mean, I don't see anything wrong with that. There's a little bit of wrinkling here. I think that this leather is just prone to wrinkle. One thing that is super duper cool about these bags is the interior. I believe that the inside of these bags is calfskin. It feels like calfskin to me as opposed to lambskin. And as you can see, it's all leather. So today, my bag of the day is the studio bag in the dove gray color. I love this bag. I think she is a stunner and I got a good one. Sometimes with these studio bags, you have to kiss a few frogs to get a good one. I think the pillow Madison can be the same way. So you wanna make sure to inspect your bag in its entirety to make sure it is okay, which is exactly what we are doing together. And you may ask, what do you look for? So on the regular pillow Madisons, I always look at the quilting to make sure that there aren't any spots that are gathered weird or wrinkled weird. And that's not really something I think you need to worry about with the Sherlene version. I really don't think that there's too much about this material that can get messed up, but I shouldn't say that without more experience because there may be all sorts of issues with these bags that we just haven't discovered yet because I haven't seen one video on this bag. This is the first one that I am going to watch and it's my own, but looking at it, I would always want to inspect this part, whether leather or shirling, because this is a smooth leather and just to make sure it's free of any defects, that looks good. The quilting, you want to make sure there are no popped stitches and I am not seeing any. I love that this bag's a little squishy and I love the combination of colors. And the reason I picked this color, besides the fact that I think the other one looks like a dead animal a little bit, is because I have these Ugg boots. And tell me, that does not look cute. Now the fur inside the Ugg boots, the Sherling is a little lighter in color, but I think that these totally work together. And I use these Ugg boots a whole heck of a lot. The next pair of shoes I wanna show you would be this pair. And these are by Hey Dude, and they've got a faux fur on the top. And I thought that these would work as well, but they totally don't do anything for me. So this bag is gonna go with my Sherlene boots. And that totally works because they're both from the same family. I also have these shoes, which look pretty good with it. These are Hey Dudes, and I believe they're called the Poly. And they've got like a faux suede. I think they say they're suede. I'm not really sure what they are, but these are definitely warmer and they have a little bit of a flannel edge to them. So these shoes are definitely a little warmer than the typical Hey Dudes. And I think that they would look good with this bag as well. So one of the two pairs of shoes that I really thought would work, work. And I found another pair that works for days that aren't super cold. But I do think that this bag is going to be a fun carry in the winter with sweaters. I have so many nice sweaters when it gets really cold. Let's look in the front slip compartment. If you look in here, that is also all leather lined. I am really liking this bag. So I think that this is a winner. You know, it's got all the same features as the regular Pillow Madison, which I love, except for it's just a different material. And I feel like since it is real shirling and it's lined in real leather, I feel like it's a very luxe bag. I appreciate Coach and their materials when they do it right. And in this case, I think they did it right. I don't think this bag is gonna need to have the little clip to make it look like a Chanel bag. It doesn't look like a Chanel bag, at least not to me. So I'm gonna wear it on the shoulder. Let me give it a try on and I'll show you what it looks like with my current outfit, which is just a light pink top and gray sweatpants. I'm not really going anywhere today, so I'm not trying to impress anybody, but I did not try this bag on crossbody when I did the comparison because I had my bags all clipped up and I didn't want to unclip them, but these are kind of a little bit on the longer side for me crossbody, not bad. 
You can always pull up the center part instead of the outside part and that shortens it on me. Most people like their crossbodies longer than this, but I do kind of like mine a little higher. In fact, I have my Dove Gray Studio Bag set on the very shortest setting right now. And it looks great down lower, but I put it up higher because I was wearing dark jeans the other day and I didn't want to risk any color transfer on this beautiful color. So that is that for this unboxing video. I love this. I didn't think I would. When I first saw it in the store, I totally didn't love it. I mean, I kind of liked it a little, but I never would imagine that I would buy one. But I got it for about 40% off, plus I think I got 6% back on Top Cash Back. And just a little pro tip, you may try using Top Cash Back instead of Rakuten because Rakuten's been giving people a lot of trouble and not paying out the cash back. So I haven't noticed that same trouble with Top Cash Back. It may be happening and I'm just blissfully unaware, but you might give that a try if the cash back is similar to what's being offered on Rakuten. Sometimes it's more. In this case, I think Rakuten was offering 2% and Top Cash Back was offering 6 Of course, I would have rather waited for 15% cash back, but then the extra 15% off sale probably would have been over. I'm going to wrap it up. This is the beautiful Pillow Madison and B4 Natural in the Sherilyn, and I... I really think I like it. So I think I will wrap her up and put her under the tree with my name on her. Maybe my kids will give her to me. Maybe my husband will give her to me. I haven't decided. But lately I seem to buy my own Christmas presents. So whichever one does, I'll be equally excited. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, go find me on Instagram. The name there is the same. The at symbol, then the Handbag Housewife, all lowercase. You can DM me there or you can email me at thehandbaghousewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I will see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.